Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a flat button. So a flat button is basically a button that doesn't have any elevation in terms of the text, it doesn't have that sort of 3D look, it's very, you know, flat. And that is a modern standard, you know, according to the material design standards that Google have set, that is very popular now. And there's a lot of stuff you can do, even though it sounds pretty simple, there's a lot of stuff you can do. So you just add it as you would any normal child in any sort of widget, that doesn't matter. So child, or if it's in you know, a list of children, you know, or I mean like an array of children, you add it in the normal way. And we're just gonna do flat button. And this requires one thing. Actually, there's two things that it absolutely requires. So it requires a callback. So unpressed. So when it's being pressed, we'll you know essentially call some method. And what we can do, we can add a method here, let's say. Let's just say button click. Obviously the type of method and what it does, and you can also have an inline method, that's totally up to you. But I'm gonna say print button is clicked. And on, in here, we need to do button and click like so let's save it let's see what we get no no button at the moment so we need to provide some you know extra properties so what other properties can we provide so we can provide essentially a A child and in here you could put a row you could put a lot of stuff for so the button can be quite complex I'm just gonna keep it simple and put a text item so I'm gonna say click me click me and let's save that see what we get as you can see we have the button now and when we click to click the twice button is clicked but we can provide a lot more properties than that because that looks you know frankly not very good so what we can do is if you look, there's holy properties. So I want to change the, what should I put? The color. So for color, let's do colors dot. Let's make this. Blue, save that. So now the background is blue. If we want to change the actual text color, we can just do text color and color. Let's change this to white. Save that. Now we have white in there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. But if you notice, when we click it, you no, know, it has a different sort of you know shade to it. We can change that as well. So we can say highlight color. Highlight color is going to be colors dot. Let's say black but as you can see we got something totally different now and there's a whole heap of other color properties they can add regarding disable text color you can add you know also text themes as well there's some really cool stuff so like to do an accent you can add you know a bunch of other stuff as well so you can change the Essentially, the brightness, you can change the geometry in terms of the padding, you can change how it clips, you know, in terms of the content inside of it, because maybe the content inside of it is dynamically generated. As a result, it might be, you know, too, there might be too much content fit inside of the button itself. That's really it. Obviously, you can check out all of the properties, like so, but nothing much more to it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.